going to postpone the hippo with the poseable jaw which is a maker's monthly subscription box that i just got the other day and i'm really looking forward to making it but i'm just going to postpone it for another week because i thought making sunflowers would be an awesome idea if you're going to make sunflowers i would say it's a really good idea to plan better than just deciding when you get up in the morning you're going to do it so i'm going to suggest that anyone's doing it you probably i discovered i don't have as much yellow fluff as i thought i had um i do have bunches of sort of golden so this will have to do um also if i was going to do this a 2d painting of a sunflower you should have seen the picture on the thumbnail on the way in that i'm trying to recreate the sunflower um if i was better prepared i would consider something like either the water soluble paper that you can draw and felt onto and you could make individual petals and make it 2d 3d that would be cool or pre-felt you could get some yellow pre-felt cut it into petals do lots of shading that would be faster and probably a whole bunch of fun but i did not plan in advance i am not that clever <laughs> I just decided to do this. Um, the sunflowers are supposedly a kind of flower of Ukraine, of Ukraine. Oh, I can't do words. I was up at six this morning with my ancient burglar alarm going off for no reason. So I'm exhausted, yes. But the sunflower is supposedly the symbol of the U Ukrainian people. So, and it's pretty and spring-like and it's a sunny day outside. So I thought we'd do this. Um, and also making today's video a uh, fundraiser. This should mean, from my point of view, I've not switched ads on, so you shouldn't get any ads or anything. So I'm not taking anything from this video. And also, YouTube does a really good thing. If you ever see any videos or a fundraiser, what that means is 100% of what you donate goes to where it's being donated to. I never see any of it, and YouTube pays any kind of fees or anything. So it's actually quite, quite a cool way to do things. Um, but if you can't donate or you don't want to donate, perfectly fine just to join me for the chat. Uh, we're just going to have a bit of fun making <laughs> making a giant sunflower or not. As you can tell, I'm totally winging it. I'm badly prepared. <laughs> this could go terrible. This could go great. Who knows? But I thought it'd be a bit of fun. Um, all I have got, you, you guys are going to be shocked. I'll go down to the table and share everything in a minute. There's a reason I'm not doing it yet. Yet, but I've got my felting foam. If you're 2D felting, you do actually need felting foam. And I'm just going to use this as a bit of pure wool Oof, felt. You can felt on just about any surface. You can 2D felt on any surface that your needle kind of goes through pretty much because the fiber you can mat the fibers at the back. But if it's a natural fiber like wool or something, it'll felt onto it easily. Although this is this is the stuff I can use for my bookmark. So it's a really dense wool. So it's not the best thing for felting on, but I'm using what I had to hand. I'm stroking the <laughs> the felt off screen um and as i said at the start i have a big jar full of golden tones i don't have a whole lot of yellow um i do have this should be enough actually i do have this big chunk of yellow and some other shades and things um again if you're 2d felting a sensible person would have brought their carding brushes to um blend the colors but Hey, we're gonna do we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna wing it. And also I wanted before we get started, it was actually my mum that made me think of this. We were thinking of what what kind of things that we could do to help, what can we send, whatever else. And we decided that obviously fundraiser is the way to go. I went with this is the world kitchen i can't remember the exact name of it just now um which is a not-for-profit organization that's been around since 2010 and basically it gets in at the ground where people need it just making food for people and also my mum <laughs> my mum had the idea first she started making cards she has two shops and in her card shop 
which is Scottish Serendipity. She's made a couple of little cards and the, the money from them will be going to the Red Cross, who also are on the ground helping out. Um, so let's see if this works. So just to, this is one of my mum's cards. If you're interested, hopefully a link will get sent to YouTube. If not, Scottish Serendipity. But yes, link's gone to the card. So this is my mum's card from her shop. It's £2.50, so it's under $3 for the card. Um, just, just a little note card, just to brighten your day. And she's been working on these gorgeous, like, 3d butterfly things and some sunflowers so i think that's that's really cool if anyone's interested in them she's just over the past couple of days i think she just started on friday making some cards and things so if you're interested pop along to me mum's shop she's not making anything out of this but she had the idea to do this and i thought hang on if if mum's is doing something my friend starla also last week um her like her video starla moore on youtube her video was a fundraiser as well i think that was for ukrainian children's charities or charities that help ukrainian children so there's lots of ways we can help out a little bit um obviously everyone feels a little bit powerless just now there's the word but here's here's some little things um but there we go that's that's my mum's card if anyone's interested i think she has a couple more up on her shop as well so have a nosy about tell her i sent you <laughs> okay um i will check the chat we have erica in the house hello there erica and pamela thank you for doing this you're most welcome thank you for joining me carol hello there and cj um carol thank you saying me mum's card's beautiful i do agree right i'm nervous to start this because i really don't know this oh no let's let's do it this way so you can't see quite all the mess on my desk <coughs> I have not planned any of this out. I don't know how long this is going to take because I have only ever done 2D felting when I'm filming a video, which involves lots of stopping to let the camera <laughs> cool down and stuff. So it takes about three or four days to do a 3D pic a 2D picture. So I wonder how long this is going to take. I wonder if I'm going to manage to do it justice. I wonder if I'm going to make a mess of it. Let's find out. Also, I couldn't find any decent pens to draw on the fabric, so let's see if this one even does draw on the fabric. I'm just going to attempt. I've just got the image of the sunflower that you'll have seen in the thumbnail on the way on the way in. And I'm just, you probably can't even see this, but I'm just going to roughly sketch out something that I want. And it's cool to draw on the fabric because it's not going to be seen because I'm going to felt on top of it. Well, you can actually see it right. And I reckon by the scientific method of measuring up against the screen, the petals of the sunflower are not quite as big as the centre. So I'm just going to get the rough idea so they're gonna fit in a space about this size this will not be a perfect circle you are insane if you can draw a perfect circle <laughs> apparently that is not perfect but so then i'll be able to just sketch in some ideas of the petals at the front of the sun there's quite a lot of petals <laughs> in the sunflower but it's it's got some at the front that are going to be the neater and then I can fill in the back, hopefully. So I'm just starting getting an idea of where they're going to go. And then I'll start felting because you didn't come here to see me sketch very slowly. <laughs> and as I say, water soluble paper would be great for this. Um, the other thing you could do, um, I'm going to show you this, you'll laugh. My printer had a fit, but you could print it out and then use the iron-on transfer pencil pens and then iron it onto your fabric, um, but that wasn't for happening. And my, my hope is that I can draw a sunflower <laughs> um, in some level of detail. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever drawn a sunflower. 
so we will find out what this looks like when we're done as i say these are only the petals that are going to be the furthest forward so therefore need the most detail um, and my pen's going to give up the ghost soon isn't it well this is all we need to do once i've done this right let me know in the chat what i was thinking as i'd mentioned um if you were planning to do this and you're using the 3D paper or cutting out petals and things, you could make it a little more 3D. I was thinking about making the center of the sunflower slightly, slightly raised up, slightly 3D. So let me know what you think. Should I make it a 2D, 3D <laughs> um, picture with the center slightly raised and slightly 3D? Or should I do it all as a flat image? I have not decided yet. So some let let me know what you think it should be um will hopefully help i am so nervous this is going to be a total disaster or it's going to take like 16 hours to create i don't know um but and this is just a real basic sketch because at the end of the day it doesn't matter because i'm going to felt over this okay sort of end up it's kind of some flowery <laughs> um just waiting for the chat to let me know do you want it shaped or do you want it flat um and if i don't see anything then i'll just dive in and decide for myself um <laughs> carol says i love that is it 2.5 d would be great okay, i'm gonna go with that i'm just gonna go with that because i'm nervous to get started so i've got some white fleece that i had lying around I've been looking at, I've always thought the sunflower sort of the big, the big deal of them kind of is the petals, but the center where all the seeds are and everything, the center is so cool as well. And I want it, it almost in the picture that I found where, yes, that is the seeds, isn't it? But where the center is kind of coming away a bit, um, where the seeds attach is a beautiful kind of geometric pattern. I don't think I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Why not? So I'm just laying down a little base of white to give it a bit of a poofy shape. Um, three needle tool <laughs> to get it going a bit. If you are doing something and it's a bit of a 3D shape, something I was surprised at when I was doing my two and a half D um, cat's head painting years ago and he was much bigger so I really built up a kind of dome it really surprised me that the inside became the the back side became hollow if you go too big then you're not just felting the fibers down they sort of felt up the way as well so you get an almost egg shape it was very surprising to me there shouldn't be enough fiber here for this to be the case but yes i remember when i first started felting and i was seeing tutorials by people who make like really giant um items and they they'd always said you have to build up a little bit at a time you can't just build up the whole thing and this this must be why because if you go in and try like we would do if you're doing a smaller piece, um, you kind of build it up to bigger than you want and it felts down. But if you're doing a giant piece, then you have to sort of build up a little bit else you end up with a hollow piece, which is bonkers. And yeah, there would be no way to fill it once it's, it's 3D with a hollow inside. That is totally crazy. Um, right color wise because there's going to be a lot more going on in here i'm going to start off with this yellow that i've got lying about i ooh, stuff's falling i think this was from the easter chick that we did last year um so it's not like my best and brightest yellow but it'll be good as just a little covering here I should have a I should have enough to do the, the whole thing, famous last words and all that. I don't know if the mic picks that up, but somebody's exhaust pipe was very noisy. <laughs> right, I'm 
just going to felt this a bit firmer but in the image I'm looking at it does it's sort of yellow in the middle and then fades to orange oh I have I know just the thing in my big old sweetie jar of colors I have this which is horrible <laughs> <laughs> and when I just started felting and I didn't know where to go and get stuff in Hobbycraft in the UK, they had all these packs of felting colours, felting wool, and I was all excited and I bought them. And oh, I don't know if the camera sees that. Can you actually see how bobbly and oh, it's it's just not nice. It's not nice at all, but it will work for this, I think, because I want a bit of a... It, it's natural, it's going to be a bit bobbly and it, it uses up the colours that I don't like so much. But yeah, I was so sad because it had all the cut, you know, not just rainbow colours, it was every shade, all the purples, oranges, greens, and I thought it would be so useful and it just really is not. Yeah, I want a little further inside. So the yellow's just only a little circle. Hopefully, you'll see what I'm doing. Hopefully. And might as well, while we are at it, I do, that's mainly black. So even although it's 2D, 3D, I want to do a tiny bit of shading because we can. And it's if you're doing 2D, painting the thing that really brings it to life is if you blend your colors so you've got highlights and low lights and with this sunflower the sun's up here coming down so this area will be lighter and this will be darker so let's do a little bit of shading underneath a lovely crafting lodge is in the house hey with a with an actual sunflower i didn't I didn't know YouTube emotes had sunflowers. Everyone in the chat, give us a sunflower. That is so cute. <laughs> right. So let's let's see if this works to make it even more 3D than 3D. So I always, for some reason, put the sun up to the top left. No idea. It's just something I've always done. So the shadow would be a little to the bottom right just to give it even more 3d hopefully yeah that'll kind of work just want to try and get this firmed up a little bit And the top smoothed before I work on the next bit, which I'm kind of nervously excited to see how it works. Um, as I said, if anyone's just joining us, um, I've just I do have the Maker's Monthly subscription box. That's what we normally do, the needle felting projects. And I am super excited. It is the hippopotamus with the poseable jaw. Um, it does look like a really great project, and I can't wait to get started on it. But I decided to wait today, um, perhaps more than today, depending on how long this takes. But today we're going to make sunflowers. And if you do, if you make sunflowers, I'd love to see them over at um, Pam Duthie's Crafty, it's not Crafty Clan, Crafty Friends. Yeah, Facebook wouldn't let me change the name yet. On Facebook, um, planes going overhead, how rude. So it'd be awesome to see that. But this is also a fund for the world's world central kitchen there's the words and um, they're on the ground just now feeding refugees um so i think that's the first thing that anybody needs in this kind of situation is some food and then yeah let's not get all political with everything else but i thought that was a good start and in the chat you'll also see the link to my mum's wonderful card where she's going with the red cross who are always there helping out as well 
Um, <laughs> CJ's got the sunflower as well. That is so cute. And the makers are in the house. Steffi, um, are, you, are you in the maker's skin today? <laughs> um, hello, good to join. Um, oh, it was Alicia. <laughs> hey there, Alicia. We will be doing the makers kit this this month, just not not this this day. Um, hopefully, depends how far we get with this. Um, I'm nervous that it's going to be rubbish, but I do kind of want to take the time to make it something a little bit good for no reason. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but yes, I'm excited to get started on the hippo, but mm, we'll see how long this takes to be a good, good thing. But we were saying it might be easier for sure if you're making this you could use some pre-felt or the water soluble paper um to actually make the leaves separate cut them out and stick them on and have a really nice 3d 3d 2.5d <laughs> um felted picture that might be really cool to see this does not look like a sunflower yet i think we're working on the eye of sauron just now <laughs> or something weird but i'm sure i'm sure it'll be fine at some point it'll get there okay i am putting off doing this next bit so i'm going to stop putting it off <laughs> erica what kind of sunflower is it um it's the one that was in the thumbnail picture of this video um we'll, we'll find out <laughs> or it's one from my twisted imagination i guess right i'm going to do this next bit next because otherwise i'll put it off so i do see the beautifulness in the center of let's go with a thread like this in the center of the sunflower um, there is a really cool pattern in the middle and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it but I'm going to try so this is the stuff that we used in the lovebirds actually it's got a mix of orange and green which was kind of perfect because the sunflowers do seem to have that and I'm just twisting out tiny threads I just want to get this out of the way to see if I can get it done <laughs> <laughs> to see if this works because i think this could be cool if it works serena hello there good to see you um and yeah thank you everyone who's who's joined um drop us drop us a sunflower in the chat and yeah thank you so much for joining um, okay 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 Hopefully you'll see what I'm doing once, if this works, but I don't know if it will work, so. Scissors, scissors, what have I done with my scissors? I am so organized for this, guys, as you can tell. Ooh, will these work? I literally had scissors here just like a minute ago. No, apparently pliers don't work. Okay, so we'll just... Oh, someone tell me when they're, like, literally right in front of me. I know I'm not the only one that does that. <laughs> okay, I've never done a pattern on this kind of scale, so I don't know if it's going to work. But if it does, it'll be nice. If it doesn't... Either way, I'll probably go insane with it. Um... Oh, oh, Serena, because um, yes, we haven't seen you for a wee while. Been moving house um, for the last few weeks. Oh, I hope it's gone gone well. Exciting and tiring all at once. Um, Alicia loves the sound <laughs> uh, where, where, where I hit my microphone. <laughs> yes, I, I should put a warning up for people wearing earphones if they're coming to they're coming to my video i'm gonna i'm gonna hit the mic i'm gonna shout into it um <laughs> yeah um serena are the kids excited about the new house 
pretty excited and scared have you moved far is the thing you know are they having to make loads of are you all having to make loads of new friends and everything that makes a big difference for sure if i remember right you have a good range of ages of kids like they're some quite young or am i thinking of someone completely different I just want to have a peek and see how that looks on camera. You can't see a thing yet. Um, hang on. <laughs> zoom, zoom. I mean, no, you still really can't see yet. Hopefully, it'll show up. It'll just be a subtle, um, but I can't guarantee it. This is kind of taking a bit of concentration. I'm not good at concentration. <laughs> so basically, what you can't see, I've pulled out tiny threads of this orange that does have a bit of green in it, but it's not really showing up, but it doesn't matter. Um, and from the center, I'm making a sort of pinwheel shape with these little orange fibers i will felt them in a bit neater i just wanted to get it started to see if it would work and it kind of is and then the bit that is going to i think the technical scottish term is nip my head is i'm going to try and do the pinwheel in the opposite direction as well um which i don't think is going to be easy at all but that looks like sort of the pattern that the sunflower seeds are attached to the sunflower head so it gives this kind of mandala just really cool effect on the sunflower i'm not saying it will give a cool effect on here um chat jumped for me again came on um Serena's kids are loving it, much more settled. We had a few tears about moving school, but they soon cheered up. Oh, of course, it's a big deal for kids, leaving all their friends and everything, but glad they've cheered up. And you have four kids. Yes, yes, I knew you had. I, I thought I'd remembered correctly. I don't want to say new. Um, you've moved towns, new schools and new friends. They're seven, six, four and two. Yeah, so not so bad for the four, <laughs> for the two-year-old and probably the four-year-old but seven and six yeah that's they're leaving all their school friends behind but they'll fit in fine oh you've got three in school so yeah the four-year-old's in school already yes I, I lose track of when people when kids go to school um yeah so anyone at home now oh <laughs> right even in my head i'm just going i cannot figure out how this is going to work right the pinwheel goes in the opposite direction now so we'll start there and i want them to cross a little bit because they do seem to in nature that kind of works I will give you a close-up when I'm able to stop having to think about <laughs> this. It's very fiddly. Oh, but it's working. Sort of. It is kind of working. That's good news. It's not as detailed in, in, in the real flower. Obviously, they've got many more detailed rows but it's doing something so yes we've got curves going one way and then curves going the other trying to cut through the curves going the first way so it gives a kind of effect and it's totally not going to be noticeable, but I just got it in my head that I really wanted to do this. So. And 
and it's just little threads of fibre and I'm just cutting them off before they get too wispy. So if you look at a close-up of the pictures of sunflowers, they do have a twirly, absolutely gorgeous pattern in them. I am nowhere near. Well, this is far too small and far too fiddly to do it justice, but I just wanted to give a sort of an impression of it, if nothing else. Uh, Diane is in the house. Hello there. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. I am. Oh, I was saying at the start of this, I am utterly exhausted because I have a decrepit elderly fire alarm, burglar, not fire alarm, burglar alarm in my house. And for absolutely no reason, it went off at like six this morning when I was fast asleep, like totally fast asleep so i i don't think i woke up till i was about halfway down the stairs trying to turn this blooming thing off so that set me up for a day of being stressed already but other than that i'm happy it's jackie can i zoom in a bit um i don't well i can i know what i can do is that better? <laughs> Not really, because you can see my... I don't have the options. No, that's really worse, isn't it? We'll be getting on to bigger, bigger pieces in a minute. It'll look better in a minute. I just wanted to get this fiddly bit out of the way. Um, so we'll, we'll go the red dwarf way of zooming in. Um, if we... The camera is not one to... The camera's not wanting to show that too much, but I'll I'll photograph it when we're totally done. Um, and then hopefully you'll be able to see it even better. But I'm just going to go over the lines again to make sure they're all in the right place. And then we'll work on firming up this centre bit even more. And yeah, then we can probably work, start working on the petals. I do also have a gorgeous blue colour that we're going to try making some sky with as well, obviously. The point is the yellow against the blue sky. But I think I read that the Ukraine is one of the world's biggest exporters of sunflower oil and sunflower seeds are like a well-known national snack over there and stuff i don't know if i'm if the internet was making stuff up but that was that was what i read about it all so that's that's fascinating it's not just the fact that the color matches the, their flag which is also very cool but yes they they grow them a lot which is lovely all right um. Alicia thought Jackie meant that you wanted me to call her on Zoom after the show. <laughs> You're so used to Zoom, not meaning Zoom in a bit, but meaning <laughs> talk to people online. And I, was, I really should have bought Zoom shares, shouldn't I, at the start of all this when I was buying shares. They've done really well out of all of this. All right. Um... I think you can almost sort of see some of this. <laughs> you get an idea. I'm going to... I I always fiddle about a bit when I'm doing things. I work on one bit and then come back to it. So I'm going to lay down the initial yellow petals. So at least if that takes... <laughs> if that takes all of the time, then at least we'll have something. And then it's something to build up from afterwards with shading and petals behind and everything but fingers crossed if i put the yellow in at least it will start to look something like it's supposed to i think it will yeah um or it's gonna look terrible um our rose is asking if alicia is gonna zoom this month yeah i think you guys had 
had some Zooms prepared. For those that don't know, Alicia also works with uh, the makers and she does some great Zooms of some of the projects and things. So you can all go and stab along live with her too, which is really cool. I'm so worried this is just going to end up looking like a child's sketch, but I suppose it's a child's sketch for a good cause, isn't it? But yeah, all I have done for those that missed to start is I've literally sketched out something very, very basic. Um, and the trick, if it works, is going to be just building up on that and putting petals in behind, working on shading and, you know, the, the best piece of advice I was ever given about me needle felting is if you don't like how it looks, you're not done. Just keep, just keep doing it. So yeah, it's going to look a little bit childish to start with because this is the, <laughs> this is just the basic of it. And then as we go, can add depth to it. And it's cheery. Do you know, even if you're not going to to create a sunflower, I really enjoyed it this morning, just Googling for images of sunflowers. They are very pretty, cheerful flowers. And on a day like today, um, <laughs> where the sun's actually out and it's starting to feel a little bit warm and a little bit nice, it was really kind of cool. Just starts to make you think a bit of spring. Oh, Alicia's saying you have to look at the events in the Facebook group of Everyone's a Makers. Your Zoom thumbnails are hilarious. Oh, cool. I will have to know. See. I know some of these things, rather than you adding your own thumbnail, they'll just take like a screen grab of whatever your face is doing at the moment. That's really not good. Anyone who edits their own videos will know, like, the number of times I'm halfway through editing a video. And you just go away and you sit back down and you're like, oh, that was an interesting expression I was pulling at that very moment in time. <laughs> I don't I don't think you realize how expressive your face is until you see it in in freeze frame. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone makes the makers stuff, always head along to their Facebook group. There you can share everything there as well as well as in my group. Um and Alicia has her zooms, which is always great to to work with people. It's like the old the, the old are they that old? They are that old. The old niche, um, stitch and bitch groups and things like that. Just places where you can get together. Oh, I'm glad I found this yellow. This is a nice yellow as opposed to if you just joined late. I just, I thought I had loads of yellows, but they're actually loads of golds and oranges rather than actual yellows. And then I found this yellow. So we're good. Although it does, I need more. It's so dark in here. Is that going to help? That is not going to help. It's so bright outside. So in contrast, my camera that has no idea what it's like outside because I've got big blackout curtains up. But my camera's going, no, let's just make everything dark. Oh, it's kind of looking sunflowery, isn't it? It's getting there. So what is everyone working on this month? Um, I Oh, I didn't bring them up. I have finished my dragon for creative fabrica <laughs> um and i just have to just have to edit and do photography and all sorts of things um oh i didn't didn't share if um 
Oh, it is on this YouTube channel. I did share it, yeah. But I've also been messing around with... I did a bit of stop-motion animation um, with creating some of my needle felting things. That was so much fun, and it worked so much better than I thought because I had no idea how well I could do... Like, I know I can do stop-motion animation with the things moving, but actually... The, the item growing from felt and um, that was so much fun to do um if you check on my youtube channel it's one of the last videos in fact keep this tab open go over to my youtube channel and have a look at that short and then let, if you haven't seen it already and let me know because i'm so proud of that it is only like 13 seconds so <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't seen it already, go over and check. That was so much fun. And like I say, it just came together so much easier. In fact, if you're interested, would you actually... I did I did have a second camera. I, I didn't record it all, but I, some of it. I could do an actual behind the scenes and show you how I did that. Um, because it's actually interesting the the bit that took the least time with that and i didn't use an app or an, i used um premiere elements but i didn't use any kind of special filters or apps or any kind of thing the actual editing of that was the quickest thing ever um but but yeah that was a whole bunch of fun so if you haven't seen that go and have a look um so i'm thinking of doing some more of them um i did for people who are on my friends list you'll have probably seen i did a little stop motion i've got a sleepy corgi thing and i just did him moving about and that was fun and then i thought no i want to do this stop motion of the sleepy corgi growing because it's very similar to the corgi bum bookmark that i did in how that i'll grow him like his body being created out of wool and then his paws coming in and his snout and then his ears climbing on and stuff i thought that could be fun too but if you're interested in the behind the scenes um of how i do the stop motion let me know because that was fun too um oh alicia thank you saying my my stop motion was hilarious it was fun <laughs> i've always it's something i've always loved since i was a kid like animation and especially like clay and like your wallace and gromit type thing well i think it was when i was a kid it was morph wasn't it For, and anyone in the uk who remembers morph i think that's what inspired me um and then as time went on there, there was more stuff um oh thanks alicia's put the <laughs> put the link um and the makers are working on the sheep swatches in the website yes i've seen pictures of them i'm gonna gonna have to go and have a look at them it looks adorable um swatches of sheep's wool <laughs> swatches are the colors and things but on sheep they look so much fun <laughs> <laughs> do you mean there are more sheep swatches <laughs> it's such a genius idea bit of bit of silliness but it is cool because anywhere you're buying these kind of things you can often buy swatches and it's fun to have fun ones things that you'll keep around as well but you could if if i had shelves put up here and things i could like where you have your tools and everything else it'd be nice to even just display your sheep swatches whereas you wouldn't do that with just like a a card with stuff on it oh i'm sniffy I was going to say, if you're going to do your own sunflower, make sure and do it more careful. You can measure out the petals. You could even use a protractor to make sure the circles are the right sizes. But it's nature. Um, and I bet, I haven't checked, I bet sunflowers aren't even because they're probably getting some of the energy. For, well, they're not photosynthesizing with their flowers, but they're probably you know, a little skewed with the heat and the everything. So they probably aren't perfectly round so yeah don't do it do it by eye <laughs> but yeah i can at least get these colors these petals down and we can start to firm this up and then i'll decide how much more we need to do about this 
One thing I might be worth doing, I can do behind petals in a slightly darker shade of yellow than this, and that might make them pop out. Yeah. Oh, Alicia, some of them for your sheep swatches, some of them weren't listing, so we're getting them fixed, adding photos of each wool and re 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 rewriting the wool description. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so send your best sheep puns to, to Alicia so she can add that to the description of the sheep swatches. <laughs> Such a genius idea. I have to say, uh, all of you, the, the makers, just your packaging, branding, all of that kind of thing, totally on point. Opening any of your stuff is always fun. Um... <laughs> Oh, good. yeah, everyone, um, if you're on the Makers site, make <laughs> make Alicia's life a little more easier and let her know of any of the swatches that she hasn't managed to get a sweet she sheep swatch for yet because she might have missed some. Oh, good to know, guys. <sighs> That's not bad for very basic so far. I'm just going to work on tidying up these petals firming up at the center and then we'll figure out what we're going to do i think i'm going to check where did i put my actual image of the sunflower yes there are some... okay let's let's make this more difficult for myself <laughs> um, what color do i want to do that in now that looks lighter I'm going to mix a tiny bit of my yellow with a tiny bit of black because the center, um, not the center, the petals have sort of darker, well, folded stripes down them a little bit. They're not perfectly straight. So I'm going to try and make a darker wool. I don't want to do it in black. Uh, you know, if you just add black, then it's too much. This is probably still going to be too much. Just want it darker thing uh, black or or but that would work just go with brown <laughs> so again i'm just gonna to make threads if anyone hasn't done that it's just like spinning wool but on a really small scale you twist and pull and it makes just like a little tiny thread yeah i think that'll be perfect so you just take out a little bit pull it ever so gently twist and You've got a thread. Um, oh, Carol's going to display the sheep swatches on a car, <laughs> display them carousel like. That sounds cool. Alicia, yeah, I think it would look lovely to have the darker petals in the back. I think so. It'll just make it pop. I also am going to obviously add some blue. Probably not today. We'll just work on making this bit look a bit good. Um, I'm also... Yes, I'm going to work... That's what I'm going to do with this instead. Um, so I'm going to thicken this up. Can you tell I'm winging this as I go along? Um but I want to do a bit of shading on these petals. So when I add the behind ones, these will pop and show out a bit more. So I'm just taking, instead of the tiny threads, I'm taking slightly bigger ones as well. Just want to see what this will do as shading. So we said the sun was coming from here. So I want to put just a tiny bit of shading on the opposite edge from where the sun will be hitting. So if it was a 3D leaf, so there would be a little bit of shade just here. Oh yeah, that that works. That's a good color. Um, and there would definitely be I want extra more shade. So just always thinking the sun's coming from here. 
isn't it amazing just what a tiny little thing suddenly those are like standing up in all kind of 3d <laughs> um this one would probably only be shading a little bit under there and they have little stripes going up the center so i'll do that Ooh, that works And this should hopefully, when I add the behind ones, help them stand out a little bit. It's not quite even because I'm going quickly <laughs> um, but you can see just adding shading makes such a difference that's where it is if you haven't if you're not happy with what you've done you're not finished yet just keep doing more and the thing is if I absolutely hate this I could just cover it with yellow I could just pick it off just now it's not even firmly felted in yet Oh, there that makes all the difference obviously these ones because this is slightly raised are getting even more shading on them I know most of you are just like Pam we we know how to shade stuff <laughs> It's actually, there's something really cool about when you're felting on camera because I can look at the screen now and I can see what it looks like from above. And the other thing is I can get a bit of a, if you're making something, it's really cool to sort of step away from it and look at it from a distance. So having my camera up there is sort of forcing me to look at it from a distance so I can see what the little changes are doing. So it is really useful. So yeah, if you're not felting on camera, it's kind of good. I'll like prop these up and just walk away. You know, if you're gonna make a cup of tea or something, prop it up on a windowsill or something walk away and then just see what stands out to your eyes at a difference like I can see that maybe this one needs a slightly darker line you know something what what stands out as weird to your eye but doing it on camera is so cool <laughs> Okay, CJ, thank you. I'm glad you're doing it step by step. Not everyone knows how to shade. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I I feel, I always feel like I'm over explaining things and everyone's just like, Pam, that is so simple. <laughs> but I mean, I forget, like, I'm, I'm not a trained artist. I'm winging it and just letting you know the stuff that I've learned from trial and error. So yes, thank you so much. Yes. And if I am being too basic, then just let me know. <laughs> But yes, it's always, I always find it really good to have an idea of where is the light source in this. And if the light was coming down here, obviously these would be bright. This side would be brighter. This would be cast in a bit of shadow. This side of the leaf and this side, well, the petal will be in a little bit more shade. So it always, it just, I think that's, that's helped a whole lot <laughs> um, just to make it look a little bit, I think you are too much. Oh, there we go, yes. There, that's a good start.
and because these were both tops it sort of is working nicely to almost the leaves do seem to have a a line going up them they sort of fold in a straight line and stuff so just the tops kind of help to do that because they are they are in a straight line so we, you get a little bit of shading just from having the fiber and the light hitting where the fiber is Um, oh, Rose, thank you. <laughs> Explain away. I have no artistic ability. I bet that's a complete lie. <laughs> you just think you don't. We we all think we're imposters. Um, I'm, I'm the same. I mean, I've been selling art for nearly 15 years now. And I very much, if you asked my, my sister's the artist of the family, I'm the scientist, I know nothing about art. <laughs> I'm like, I have probably sold a whole lot more art than she ever has. Sorry, Dawn. Um, but I still don't feel like I'm I'm the artist. She's very much the artist. Oh, Alicia is saying this strange feedback from my mic. Oh, dear. Um, it should be. F it's not doing the rope. What is it done? Did I knock it out? Hmm. I've randomly shoved things. Is that any better than it? Hmm. That is odd because it shouldn't be doing the echoey thing. I should have switched it off from there. Um, hmm, that's a pain. Let me know if it's still bad. Technology's great. Um, I am just, just for a moment, let's firstly, well, it's a good thing. I can hide this. Is it still bad or is it okay just now? Um, but I just want to pop this up again for a second time for those that missed it at the start. Um, my mum, that's the right way around. My mum on her Etsy shop has started to make a few cards that are just going to be going to... Uh, Uk Ukrainian people as well. This is uh, money will be going to the Red Cross um, to help out. So she's made some gorgeous sunflower cards, which are even more, <laughs> even more beautiful than mine. Um, she's been, she's got one of those clever brother scanning cut machines. I think this is what what she's done here, and she's been working on getting it to cut out lots of cool um, shapes. So I think. Some of the shape of the card and definitely the shape of the butterfly are through things that she's she's figured out the tell it to tell the machine to be able to do. Um, so yeah, that's that's what my mum's done. If you want to check that out, there should there is a link in the chat if you want to go and check it out. Her cards are two pounds fifty each, which mum, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> but there you go. So they're not even too expensive and really cute. There we go. So my mum's also trying to do a little bit here and that's not the way I want to show that. Um oh weird. I I'm, I'm gonna have to listen back to the the replay because CJ and Rose are saying the sound is fine, but Alicia's got some kind of static every now and again. Very strange. Occasional Carol's got it now and then a bit of static and Diana's a bit of buzzing. Don't tell me this mic's on the way out now as well. These are blooming expensive. <laughs> mics don't last forever. Um, but fingers crossed it's okay. Uh, not too obtrusive. There is also my heating, my radiators are making ridiculously rude noises <laughs> all right as i suspected 
it's going to take more than an hour to do justice to making a nice sunflower. I don't want to rush it and then have something that's terrible. We're doing, we're, we're trying to do a nice thing. So if it's okay with everyone, we'll do two weeks of this and then we'll get on and do the hippo for the next two weeks. So next week will also be a fundraiser if you're all cool with that. And I will go back and listen to the replay and see what is happening to my microphone. Um, and if you do make some flowers, I would love to see them. It's a fun way to use up scraps of colour. I mean, if you search for some flowers, you'll see some people have done some sunflower art that doesn't um it's not in yellows, multicolours, you know, lots of flights of fancy. I did think about doing something like that as well. So it doesn't have to be in some flower colours, but it's a good way to use up scraps of things and just try out different things. So, yeah, if it's OK with you guys, we will finish this guy. Too many guys in that sentence, but we'll finish this off next week because i want to well hopefully it won't have to be a fundraiser but um i'm not all that hopeful for that but it would be lovely if it doesn't have to be a fundraiser but it probably will so if there's any charity that you know that's doing good work for this kind of thing and you fancy as us donating for that instead let me know and i can do a different one next week um but anyway guys i think that's where we've got to it's i think it's better <laughs> it's better than i was expecting um but yeah we've got a whole lot more to do i want to work on getting because some flowers definitely have a whole lot more petals in general and i've got an absolute ton <laughs> <laughs> oh, of blue. I mean, that's going to make a big difference as well. That just lo that looks lovely, doesn't it? Yes, I think putting a sky on it will be so soft. Yeah, I've got a ton of blue. <laughs> um, I've been making so many stuff with blue just because I ordered and too much came. Okay, anyway, yeah, it looks like people are up for watching a bit more of this so yeah we'll finish we'll we'll make this proper <laughs> so next week we'll do this and then it'll be the hippo the following two weeks at least okay guys thank you so much for joining me um yeah have a great week and i'll see you next